a good time to talk about queues. Now, queues, this is a second thing, um, third thing, sorry. So portal, SLA, um, and queues are the third kind of extra layers and elements that Service S brings to your normal JIRA project. Everything we're looking at here, you can still view these issues as you normally do. You can still search for them as you normally do, including your SLA um, metrics as well, which I'll show you in a second. But on our queues page, this is a dynamic view um, of issues coming in, which is, uh, and you can create these queues in any way you want. So these are the issues as they come in. I don't have to refresh this page. If someone opens a ticket at the moment, I, I, I was going to get one of my colleagues to do it at this point. It would like be all flashy, but they can't be trusted to put what I want in there, and they'll say something rude. So um, they'll actually come up in real time. You don't have to refresh it or anything, and you can keep an eye on these queues. And when you go into any of the issues, for those who use JIRA, you'll see this looks pretty familiar. This is our normal JIRA stuff with the additions of our knowledge base section, our SLA section, and our service test request section, which is new. This is where we get that extra information. So I can see that even though this is a purchase, which is one of my standard issue types, what did they click on? What request type did they click on when they came in? It came through the portal. Um, that's the customer status. They, they can see it's awaiting implementation. And that's the, the request type it came through on. So it's really, really useful kind of extra information that we can see there. And again, as jobs come in, I'll see them bubbling up in the side here. I don't even have to come out of the issue that I'm in, which is really, really useful. Um, how we actually make these queues is dead, dead basic. If I was going to edit this queue, issues to show. You just pick what issues. I want all issues that are of this type in this project that are resolved, unresolved, I've got this name, that I've been unassigned, whatever it might be. Um, you have to be aware that one, an issue can exist in more than one queue, which is useful. They're not, it's not mutually exclusive. So you can have an issue, you might have all issues, and then all prioritized issues, or all ones where they're about to breach. Um, and also, um, with the same respect, you could, in theory, not have issues showing. So just bear, be mindful of that, that you're, you're not accidentally missing out some issues. They're coming in, and you've got no queue to actually see them. So it won't check that, and it won't tell you that. You just have to be aware of it.